taking a little time away from walking my one-eyed, extraordinarily high-strung, half-beagle, half-rottweiler to talk about a holster. This one is a great budget inside the waistband option. It only costs about $36, and it's got a lot of cool features. All right, man, take a seat, buckle up. Ordinarily, we'd start with uh, orientation of the car here, but we got calls pending, and we got to get to them. So, we're rolling. We're going to have to learn on the way. All right, today, I set the car up. For a lot of people, when they first start carrying a handgun for a living, they're stuck carrying a full-size duty pistol, whether they're working or not. In some instances, they're stuck carrying that full-size duty pistol because their agency or department policy says that they have to carry their duty pistol when they're off duty for a certain probationary period, or the policy says that they have to qualify with any other pistol that they use, and the opportunity just doesn't arise. Even more common, though, is the economic aspect of why people are stuck carrying their full-size duty pistol, whether they're on or off duty, and the logistical reasons why they end up having to carry their full-size pistol when they're not working. Now, the problem with carrying a gun for a living is either you have to have a place to lock the gun up when you're not working at work, or you have to transport the thing home, which leads you with either going home in uniform every day, which may or may not be something that policy allows. Now, even if policy allows it, a lot of people don't want to go back and forth from work in their uniform. And so what they're stuck with is carrying around a full-size pistol when they're off-duty, at least back and forth from work. And in many cases, that's their only off-duty gun that they can use. A lot of people, when they first take a job carrying a firearm, there's a lot of money shelled out for a gun and magazines and holsters and belts, and, and people are strapped for cash. So it leaves them with limited resources left over to take care of non-completely essential equipment, like an off-duty holster. So what you end up with is people going to Walmart and picking up a neoprene holster that fits their duty pistol and using that to carry it home and for a while when they're off-duty until they can get the money and time together to get an off-duty pistol that's more suited for concealed carry or get a better holster. That's where the Stow and Go comes in. Now the Stow and Go has got a lot going for it. To start with, it's made of actual leather instead of neoprene, like a lot of cheaper options that are in the same price range. So it lasts longer. I've had this one for, God, almost probably, I don't even know how long. Probably longer than I should have. The clip on it is a C-clip, as you can see there. And it actually goes all the way around your belt and your pants so that it's not just it's not just pressing on the outside of the belt and on the outside of the pants and holding the holster to them. It actually clips all the way around your belt. See if you can see that there. So the belt hook this hooks around the belt and the whole clip holds it to your pants. Also, if you see down here, there's a little space in the hooks so that the belt loop on your pants can fit between them to really lock the thing in place if you're wearing pants with belt loops. My favorite way to use this is to be able to carry a full-size pistol even in pants like these. These Adidas running pants that have a uh, just a drawstring holding them on. Even with just the drawstring holding it on, the reinforced wire opening of this holster allows it, with a little bit of difficulty with these types of pants, to be holstered with one hand. As you can see here, just a sweatshirt and a pair of Adidas running pants. And if I need to, I can get to a full-size pistol. It doesn't really look like anything too spectacular from the outside. So that's the Gelco Stone Go. It's what I suggest to my friends when they say they'd like to try starting to carry a full-size pistol. There's stuff that's better and there's stuff that's worse, but for 40 bucks, it gives you everything that you really need to start carrying. It's your entry level professional grade holster. And now I have to figure out how to get my rambunctious dog untied from the tree that she managed to wrap herself around while I was shooting this. Well, if you like that video, 
go ahead and subscribe because there's a whole lot more to come. As soon as I uh, finish up these calls, go 10-8. County 291. 